Today we're going to be looking at locating business data and information to help you with your Accounting 498 culminating project. The first thing we're going to do is click on the Online Library Resources link. You can find it under the picture or over in the left navigation pane. These are the list of all the databases the library currently subscribes to. We're going to go to Standard & Poor's Net Advantage. Log in using your St. Leo University login ID and password. And if you're having problems, there's a link right here on the login page to mystleo.edu. You can click on that link and resolve your problem. This is the home page for Net Advantage. And the main things we're going to be interested in are the company and industry links located at the top middle of the page. Let's first look at the industries profile. We can do some research on various industries and sub-industries, finding information pertinent to our research. For example, if I was interested in healthcare, I have facilities, managed care, pharmaceuticals, products and supplies as my choices. If I was interested in a sub-industry of those, I can come into the sub-industry and I have the choices of healthcare distributors, equipment, facilities, services, supplies, and technology. I'm going to select facilities. This is both a sub-industry and a main industry. I can then just click on the arrow and I can read the review about the overall industry. This report focuses on hospitals. What the current environment was, notice the date on this report, it's from 2011. So it's not the most up-to-date report, but it's less than a year old. And according to Stephen Silver, healthcare facilities analyst for Standard & Poor's, the current environment for healthcare facilities is difficult because reimbursement uncertainties have hit the hospital stocks hard. There is a lot of information contained in this report. It will take you a little while to read it. You can do this with any other industry as well. So for example, if I wanted to go back and look at movies and home entertainment, the movies and entertainment report was done March 15, 2012, just a bit over a month old. The current environment is the ownership concentration remains a key industry trait because there have been a lot of mergers and acquisitions in the U.S. In entertainment industry. So some of the information contained in these kinds of reports can be very useful for you when you're trying to analyze not just one company, but the industry in which it resides. Let's take a look at a couple of companies. I'm going to search for a company. Right now, I think I'm going to pick a healthcare company, so I'm going to look at HCA Holdings. So the symbol for HCA Holdings is HCA. It's traded on the New York Stock Exchange. There's a business summary available. You can find a chart for the company. You can compare it to an index, such as the Standard & Poor's 500. So if you look at the HCA holdings compared to the Standard & Poor's Index, it's decreased since August and is slowly climbing back up, while the Standard & Poor's Index did decrease somewhat in August, September, and a little bit of October. It's been climbing faster than HCA holdings. You can look at their financials, including revenues for the last five years earnings per share, income statement in the millions, and other financial data. You can then take this information and put it in your own spreadsheet. Other vital statistics uh, might include dividend and stock splits, estimates and opinions, who their main competitors are, and you can take all of this information and use it for your project.